Hi, this is Heather with Affinity for Yarn, and today I want to show you the Tunisian Extended Knit Stitch. You'll see I used that stitch here on a shawl that I just recently made, and I really loved how it turned out. It is a one row repeat stitch, and with it being an extended stitch, there's little to no curling. So it turns out to be a really awesome stitch to use. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, uh, to begin, the first thing I want to call out is that with this stitch, there is no stitch multiple needed. You can make it into any amount of stitches you need, depending on the length or the width of the piece that you want. Now, uh, I've already chained eight here, so we'll, that's just the starting point. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip that chain to the back row. And we're going to be working in these back bumps along here um, for the first foundation row. So the first thing we want to do is we want to actually skip that first bump that's right next to the hook here. We're going to skip that and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to um, do our first stitch in this first in the second bump here. So the first thing we want to do is insert our hook. I'm going to tighten up the yarn a little bit around my hook here first. All right, so the first thing we want to do is we want to insert our hook from bottom to top underneath that, that horizontal bar there. And then we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through a loop and then we're going to yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook. So that is one stitch made. And now we're going to continue on down the row with that same pattern. So insert your hook bottom to top, and then you're going to yarn over and insert your hook um, and pull up a loop. And then you're going to yarn over and you're going to um, pull through the one loop on the hook then. And then insert your hook into the next stitch here and then yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook. And then insert your hook into the next stitch here and yarn over and pull up a loop and then you're going to yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook. And continuing on down the row, insert your hook into the next stitch and yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook. And then insert your hook into the next stitch and yarn over and pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook. And now we are to the last stitch and there's nothing that special that needs to be done. It's going to be just like the other stitches here. So we're just going to insert our hook. Sometimes it's hard to hang on to it because of the little tail here. And then we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through um, one loop on the hook. And so that is the first, the front forward pass of the foundation row done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do a return pass because in all Tunisian crochet, um, a re return pass is done. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to ch um, first one chain one by yarning over and then pulling through one loop on the hook. So that is a chain one right there. And now for the rest of the loops on the hook, we're going to yarn over and pull through two loops at a time. So yarn over and pull through two loops. And then yarn over and pull through two loops. 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 Yarn over, pull through two loops. And yarn over and pull through two loops. And now you're left with one loop on the hook. So that is what that foundation row looks like. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to actually start the extended knit stitch piece of it. Again, like I had mentioned earlier, this is a one row repeat. So once you get a hang of it, it's really easy and works up very quickly. So to start that, start the row two is we're going to first chain one. So we're going to just do a regular chain one. And now we're going to skip this first vertical bar here that you see. And we're going to go ahead and go to the next one. So the next vertical bar. And you'll see here there's this front loop front bar and back bar we want to insert our hook in between those two stitches so watch my hook here we're going to insert our hook so it's behind the front behind the front one and in front of the back loop and then we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull up a loop and then to make it extended we're going to yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook here so that is one knit stitch done. So let's do the next one. Again, we have the front and back vertical bars. We're going to insert our hook right between those two. So insert your hook behind the front vertical bar and then yarn over and pull up a loop. And then again, because it's extended, we're going to yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook here. So let's continue on. It's going to be the same um, pattern. For, for the row till the last stitch, and then there's something we'll have to do just a little bit different for that. 
So again, again, we're going to do um, inserting our hook behind the vertical bar in front and then in front of the vertical bar that's in the back. And then we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook. And then insert our hook into the next stitch behind the front vertical bar there and pull up a loop. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook. And then again, insert our hook, do that, and then yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook. Okay, we have one stitch left here. And then yarn over and pull through the one loop on the hook. So now we've reached the end of our row two. So now what we're going to do is we're going to call what's a last Tunisian stitch. Um, and what that does is it really just helps to keep more of a shape um, to the piece. So that is why it's just it's helpful to do to do that you're going to go ahead and you're going to turn the the work towards you and you'll see both a basically a front and a back um, horizontal bar here you're going to just be inserting your hook underneath both of those stitches so just like that so you're going to insert your hook and you'll see both stitches are on there and then you're going to go ahead and yarn over and pull up a loop and then again because this is extended we're going to yarn over and pull through um, one loop on the hook so that is the forward pass for row two that is done. So now again, we're going to do the return pass just like we did with a foundation row. So we're going to yarn over and pull through one loop. And that is a chain one that we just completed. And now we're going to yarn over and pull through two loops on the hook. So yarn over and pull through two, 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 pull through two more, pull through two more and pull through the last two. And now left with one loop on the hook, and that is what that looks like. So now we'll do one more row together. Um, to do that, we're gonna go ahead and chain one again, so just a regular chain one like that. And now we're gonna skip that first vertical bar that you see here, and we're gonna be working in the second one from the hook here. So again, inserting our hook from front to back, behind the front vertical bar, and in front of the back vertical bar. And then you yarn over and pull up a loop. And now because it's extended, we're going to yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook. Okay, so insert your hook behind the front vertical bar of the next stitch. And then yarn over and pull up a loop. And then again, yarn over and pull through one loop on the hook. And let's move on to the next stitch. We're going to go ahead and pull up one loop. And then yarn over and pull through one loop. And again, we're going to work that all the way across the row um, till that last stitch. And then similar to row two, or just like row two, I should say, we're going to do our last Tunisian stitch on that one. Okay, and I have one more stitch here. Okay, so now we're at the end of the row. Again, we're going to turn the work towards us. We're going to look for those two horizontal bars there. And we're going to go ahead and insert our hook underneath both of them like that. And we're going to yarn over and pull up a loop. And then because it is extended, we're going to yarn over and pull through the one loop on the hook. So that completes row three of the, the forward pass of row three, I should say, for that. So now similar to row two here, we're going to do our return pass. And, and again, we do that after every row throughout whatever piece you're working on. So yarn over and chain, or excuse me, yarn over and pull through one loop is a chain one. And then yarn over and pull through two all the way across again. Okay, so now you're just going to follow this, that pattern throughout the rest of the piece for however wide or long you want the piece to be. Um, but when you get to the end and when you've finished all your rows, you're going to want to go ahead and bind off um, to really, you'll see there's these big gaps at the top of the row here. And by binding it, it helps to, to close those up so it doesn't look as noticeable. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to bind off our, after our last row here. So to do that, you're going to go ahead and again, working in the vertical bar. So you'll see the second vertical bar from the, the hook here. We're going to go ahead and we're actually just going to insert our hook just like this from, from side to side. So behind that, that first vertical bar, inserting from right to left, we're going to yarn over and we're just going to pull through that loop as well as the loop on our hook. So we're going to pull through two loops on the hook. 
And now you see we have one loop left on the hook. So now we're gonna move to the next one. And again, going right to left, we're gonna insert our hook, keeping the hook in front here. Then we're gonna yarn over and pull up a loop. And then you're gonna pull that loop through the vertical bar and then through also the loop on your hook. So that is how that looks. And then let's just continue on, inserting the hook, yarning over, and pulling through both of the loops that, that are on the hook here. And we're gonna complete this all the way across the row until we have just one loop left on. And then you can go ahead and finish off just like you would in any other piece. Um, the one other call out is with this as well, with binding the row, you're also going to do the same thing with the, the last stitch. You're just going to make sure that you insert your hook under both the, the front and the back horizontal bars there. So insert under both of them and then yarn over and pull through that, that um, under those bars as well as the loop on your hook. And then that completes the work. And as you can see, the gaps is now gone. And then, like I said, you just go ahead and you can finish off your work however you need to do that. Um, but that um, is it for today. That is the extended Tunisian knit stitch. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe. Thanks. Have a great day.